Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to install the latest version of Jupyter Notebook along with the latest version of Python in Windows 11. So for that, first you need to go to the favorite browser and in the URL bar type Python download and then go to the official link of python.org. You can see the link python.org slash downloads. Now uh, this is the latest version for Windows 11. Click on the download button and uh, start the download. On completion, open the folder and double click on the downloaded exe file to install the python. But before proceeding, please make sure these two boxes are checked. Uh, this is very important because uh, we need to add the python.exe file uh, to the following path. You can customize the path also but I will not recommend that. You have to install it in the default path. So please make sure these two boxes are checked and click on install now. Once you click on install now, it will install the python. So please wait. Once the setup is successful, now you can safely close the window. Close everything. Python is installed successfully. Go to search bar and type cmd. On the command prompt, right click on it and run as administrator. Let us zoom the command prompt window. Okay, uh, now here. Uh, type python a space double hyphen then version and now hit enter you can see the latest version for python is installed successfully as you have downloaded from the website now we have to see the version of pip installed in our computer pip helps in installing the jupyter notebook so type pip space double hyphen then version and hit enter uh, but before uh, proceeding you can see uh, there is a space after the python and pip but there is no space between the hyphens and the hyphen and the version so there is only one space so you can see the latest version is installed successfully uh, 25.0.1 this is the latest version for pip and uh, now uh, type pip space install space jupyter please notice the spelling this is J-U-P-Y, not uh, J-U-P-I. Now hit enter and wait for a few seconds to a minute. Now you can see successfully installed Jupyter version 1.1.1 .1 and the Jupyter core version is 5.7.2. Anyway, uh, once the installation is successful, uh, now let us see the version. Type Jupyter then a single space and then double hyphen version and hit enter and now you can see all the packages are installed successfully uh, i don't know why the qt console is not installed in my computer so uh, there may be some problem in my computer don't worry it will not happen in your case now we can safely close the command prompt and then go to file explorer now go to any drive you want, right click on the blank space and click on new and then folder to create a new folder and put the name Jupyter Notebook or whatever you want, it actually doesn't matter. So let us keep the name Jupyter Notebook, then go inside the folder, this is very important. Now go to the address bar and remove everything, type cmd and hit enter. Now you can see cmd is running under this Jupyter Notebook folder that we have just created. Now uh, here you need to type Jupyter space notebook and then hit enter. Now it will run the Jupyter inside the local host. Now uh, from the new button you can create a new folder or a file. So just click on it and click on a new folder. Let us create the new folder new notebook folder okay and now hit enter and now let us go to the file location you can see the new notebook folder has been created successfully so now double click on this folder and then inside this folder let us create a new python 3 file so once you click on the file this will open in the new tab let's print our channel name here type print then first bracket inside it channel name 
okay and now click on this play button and this is working now click on this save button or go to file and click on save notebook it will save the notebook if you want to rename it you can click here or go to file and then click on rename it will take you to the same area and now you can put the name let us put notebook one and then click on rename okay this is renamed successfully you can close it and you can see this is our folder and inside the folder our notebook one file is here you can see the file name extension this is dot ipynb okay now as we have installed the visual studio code this application earlier so now if i double click on it it will open inside the vs code application you can see this is working perfectly fine so this was the complete video see you in the next video till then stay safe